We have breaking news now in the feds announcing new charges against Michael Avenatti. They're charging him with fraud and identity theft involving the client who made him famous. That woman, Stormy Daniels. Let's get to Jackie Heinrich. She's live on the news deck. Jackie. Well, Trace, federal prosecutors say that Avenatti used misrepresentations and a fraudulent document to divert money owed to his client, Stormy Daniels, into his own account and then spent it for personal and business purposes. Avenatti allegedly helped Daniels secure a book deal, then stole a significant portion of an advance payment on that contract by having the payer direct the money into his own account. According to prosecutors, Stormy Daniels never signed off on that and didn't know it was happening. Avenatti expressed some knowledge that the indictment would be coming down as early as last night, just two hours ago, or two hours before it was announced, rather. He tweeted, no monies relating to Miss Daniels were ever misappropriated or mishandled. She received millions of dollars worth of legal services, and we spent huge sums in expenses. She only directly paid $100 for all that she received. I look forward to a jury hearing the evidence. But prosecutors said Michael Avenatti abused and violated the core duty of an attorney, the duty to his client. As alleged, he used his position of trust to steal an advance on the client's book deal. As alleged, he blatantly lied to and stole from his client to maintain his extravagant lifestyle, including to pay for, among other things, a monthly car payment on a Ferrari. Avenatti was separately indicted on extortion charges relating to to his alleged attempt to extract more than $20 million from Nike. He's facing a significant amount of jail time, and if found guilty on all of those charges, he, it's a real possibility that he could be behind bars. Trace. Yeah, we're hearing 69 years possibly behind bars, Jackie Heinrich, and of course he is accused of stealing settlement money from other clients. Jackie, thank you so much.